What does it mean when someone consistently hurts you? And how can you determine if they genuinely care about your well-being? Asks the father. Comment yes if you believe in God and do help support us through super chat or watching this video completely. When someone hurts you time and time again, accept the fact that they don't care about you. It's a tough pill to swallow, but it's necessary to know the truth, says the father. Bitter heart is miserable, so avoid bitterness as much as you can. Loving yourself is essential but not enough. The bitter truth is, you still need to see that love reflected in someone else's eyes. It's wise to lean towards caution, as I firmly believe that proactively taking measures today can prevent potential harm down the road. Your safety and well-being are of great concern to me, and I am committed to ensuring that you remain secure. Let your prophet tell you a story about the bitter truth I am talking about. In a distant land there lived a wealthy man who had two sons. The younger son was restless and eager to explore the world beyond their family estate. He approached his father one day and said, Father, give me my share of the inheritance now so that I can journey to distant lands and live life on my own terms. The father, though saddened by his son's request, agreed and divided his wealth between two sons. The younger son set off on a journey to a far-off country, where he indulged in extravagant living, squandering his inheritance on wild parties and frivolous pleasures. However, as time passed, a great famine swept through the land and the younger son found himself penniless and starving. In his desperation, the younger son took a job feeding pigs, a tax that was considered degrading in his culture. He was so hungry that he longed to eat the pig's food but no one gave him anything. He finally came to his senses and realized the terrible mistake he had made by leaving his father's home. He thought to himself, even my father's hired servants have more than enough food to eat, while I am dying of hunger. I will go back to my father, confess my sins, and ask to be a servant in his house. It's better to be a servant in my father's house than to live like this. Filled with humility and regret, the younger son began his journey back to his father's home. While he was still a long way off, his father saw him coming. Filled with compassion and love, the father ran to his son, embraced him and kissed him. The son, tears streaming down his face, said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father called to his servants, Quick, bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet, and bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate, for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. The older son who had remained loyal to his father and had walked faithfully in the fields was angry and refused to join the celebration. He said to his father, Look. All these years I have been slaving for you and never disobeyed your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours who squandered your wealth becomes back, you kill the fattened calf for him. The father replied, My son, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. This biblical parable often known as the parable of the prodigal son teaches us the profound lessons of forgiveness, redemption and the boundless love of a parent. 
It reminds us that no matter how far we may have strayed or how great our mistakes, there is always an opportunity for repentance and reconciliation. Additionally, it encourages us to practice compassion and forgiveness towards others even when we may feel resentment or judgment. The Father says today, open your heart, draw a deep breath and make a positive choice to forgive, release and bless. This is the key to accelerating your highest heart desire. When you forgive, you release yourself from the bondage of bitterness and resentment. You open the door to healing and wholeness. When you release, you let go of the past and make room for new beginnings. And when you bless, you invite the power of my love and grace into your life. Now, this raises an important question, what will you do with this revelation? Your guardian angels have gone out of their way to share this celestial message with you. Could it be a sign that you're stepping into a new, even more impactful chapter of your own journey? And if so, are you ready for it? You've already accomplished so much just by being you, but this could be the universe's way of preparing you for even greater things. If you've listened to this message and felt a resonance know that it's no mere coincidence, the universe doesn't make mistakes. Every step you've taken and every challenge you've faced has led you to become this inspiring figure. Isn't it incredible how life's puzzle pieces fit together to create this amazing picture? Others, too, are poised to be touched by your radiant energy as you continue on your journey. May your guardian angels guide you towards endless opportunities to shine even brighter. Now listen to this prayer as it holds divine blessings and essence. O oh Lord, as I lift my voice to you in prayer, I am awestruck by your majesty and the magnificence of your creation. From the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate beauty of the smallest living beings, your handiwork is evident everywhere I look. I stand in awe of your power and wisdom, and I am humbled by the privilege of being in your presence. Heavenly Father, I am aware of the challenges and adversities that surround us in this world. The enemies of our souls seek to undermine our faith, disrupt our lives, and lead us away from your loving embrace. I implore you, Lord, to shield us from these malevolent forces, to place a hedge of protection around us, and to grant us the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity. Guard our hearts, minds, and spirits against the schemes of the enemy, and let your light dispel all darkness. Father, I long for spiritual progress and growth in my journey with you. As I traverse the path of faith, I yearn for a deeper relationship with you, a greater understanding of your word, and a heart that overflows with love for you and for others. May your Holy Spirit be my constant guide, illuminating the scriptures and revealing the profound truths contained within. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. Lord, your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask you, the generous giver, and it will be given to them. I come before you now, seeking the precious gift of wisdom. In a world filled with noise and confusion, help me to discern your voice amidst the clamor. Grant me the wisdom to make choices that align with your will and that lead me closer to your perfect plan for my life. Heavenly Father, in a world marked by turmoil and unrest, I earnestly seek your peace and serenity. Let your presence be a calming balm to my weary soul and grant me the strength to remain steadfast in my faith. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In the midst of life's storms, help me to find solace in your abiding love. Lord, your word assures us that you are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I beseech you for guidance and direction in every aspect of my life. 
Lead me in the way that is pleasing to you and reveal your divine purpose for my existence. Illuminate the path before me and grant me the courage to follow it, trusting in your unfailing guidance. Father, there are times when life's challenges seem insurmountable and my strength falters. In those moments, I turn to you, the source of all strength and endurance. Fill me with your might and let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to soar on wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. May I find renewed strength in you each day. Lord, you are the great healer, capable of mending broken hearts, bodies and spirits. I lift up to you those who are in need of your healing touch. Whether the ailment is physical, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your power to bring about restoration and wholeness. May your healing hand be upon those who suffer, bringing comfort, relief, and renewed vitality. Heavenly Father, I am acutely aware of my imperfections and my need for your forgiveness and grace. I come before you with a contrite heart, confessing my sins and shortcomings. I ask for your mercy to wash over me, cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Grant me the ability to extend forgiveness to others as I have received it from you. Lord, you are the provider of all our needs and your storehouses are never empty. I place before you my concerns and needs, trusting in your abundant provision. Whether it is material, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your faithfulness to supply all that is required. May your blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of those I love. Father, I yearn for the fruits of the Spirit to flourish within me, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May these attributes be evident in my interactions with others, reflecting your divine nature and drawing people closer to you. Transform my character, Lord, and make me a vessel of your love. Heavenly Father, your word encourages us to live in unity and harmony with one another. I lift up to you our relationships, both within our families and among our friends and communities. May the bonds of love and fellowship be strengthened, and may your peace reign in our hearts. Let our interactions be marked by grace, compassion, and understanding. Lord, your heart aches for the lost and the broken, and so does mine. I lift up to you those who have not yet experienced the transformative power of your love. May your spirit draw them near, open their hearts to your truth, and bring them into your fold. Use me as an instrument of your love, that I may share your gospel and be a beacon of hope to those in need. Father, in a world that often clamors for more, I pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Help me to recognize and appreciate the countless blessings that surround me each day. May I find joy in the simple pleasures of life and contentment in your presence, knowing that you are the source of true fulfillment. Lord, I join my prayers with those who seek the peace of Jerusalem, a city that holds immense significance in your divine plan. I pray for the safety and well-being of its inhabitants and for the resolution of conflicts that persist in the region. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, extend to the land where your chosen people dwell. Heavenly Father, I recognize the allure of temptation and the frailty of human nature. I beseech you to deliver me from the snares of temptation and to grant me the strength to resist its enticements. Let your word be a lamp to my feet, guiding me.